In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create a paragraph style, which allows you to collect and replicate the character and paragraph level formatting attributes that you use on a regular basis. I'm working inside of a document called paragraphstyle.indd, found inside the exercise files folder. Notice that I'm working on page two of this document. You can see that I've properly formatted the text in the left column, but I haven't done anything to the text on the right column. It's sent in courier, and I don't have any paragraph breaks. I can make the text on the right match the text on the left with the help of a paragraph style. For starters, I need to identify a paragraph that contains the right formatting attributes. So I'll double click inside of this top paragraph to switch to the type tool and place my blinking insertion marker. So that's all you have to do with the type tool. You don't have to select any text. You just need to place your blinking insertion marker someplace inside the paragraph. Then bring up the paragraph styles panel. Now the best way to do that in my opinion is to go up to this workspace option which says essentials in my case. Click on it and choose advanced. And that's going to bring up some more panels including the paragraph styles panel. If you want to know how to get to the panel from a command, go up to the type menu and choose paragraph styles or you can press the F11 key. I'll go ahead and click on the word paragraph styles over here on the right side of the screen in order to bring up the paragraph styles panel. Notice it's telling me currently it's just a basic paragraph. Fine. If I want to make a new style, I'll drop down to this little page icon and click on it. And it creates a new style called paragraph style 1. I could then double click on this style in order to name it. Problem is, I really don't like this approach because if you have a lot of styles you've already created, it means you've got to dig around and try to find this new paragraph style one, and if you already have a paragraph style one sitting around there, then you get paragraph style two and three and so on, and it can get fairly chaotic. So I'll press Control Z or Command Z to undo the addition of that style. Here's the better way to work. I'll press the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, and then I'll click on this little page icon and that forces the display of the new paragraph style dialog box. Then I'll assign a name to this style. I'll call it lead paragraph and then I'll click OK to create the style. And there it is here inside the paragraph styles panel. If I click on lead paragraph I've now assigned the style to this text and that way any changes I make to this lead paragraph style will affect the text that I've applied the style to. Now let's say I want to assign this new style to the rest of the text inside of this frame. I'll drag across the other paragraphs to select some portion of each one of them. Then I'll click on lead paragraph to assign the style. Notice that kind of messes things up because after all, we don't need drop caps for each and every one of these paragraphs. So I'll click in any one of these paragraphs to make it active. Then I'll go up here to the control panel. And then I would change this value right here which affects the number of lines assigned to a drop cap, I would change it to zero and press the tab key and that's all it takes. Completely gets rid of the drop cap now. Now let's make another paragraph style that's based on lead paragraph that affects the other paragraphs, any paragraph that doesn't have a drop cap in it. And I'll do that by once again alt clicking or option clicking on that little page icon down there at the bottom of the paragraph style panel. And I'll change the name of this style to body copy. Notice that it's based on the lead paragraph style, which is great. I'll also say apply style to selection. And then I'll click OK. And now this paragraph right here has been updated to body copy. Let's go ahead and select these other two paragraphs and switch them to body copy as well. Then another change I'm going to make is to drag across this text. I'll alt drag my page over a little bit so we can see what we're doing. That would be an option drag on the Mac bring up the paragraph styles panel again and click on body copy and the text is now formatted. Now my only concern is that this frame is too narrow to accommodate justified type. We end up with a lot of big spaces between our words. I'm going to fix this problem by changing the parent style which is lead paragraph and that way all of the text inside of the document will change to match. Here's what I mean. I'll go ahead and click in this top paragraph with the type tool in order to make it active then I'll go up here to the control panel and I'll change the alignment setting from justify with last line aligned left to align left which will align that text to the left. Now notice what's happened in the paragraph styles panel. The words lead paragraph are now followed by a plus sign to show me that I've made some sort of modification to the active paragraph that doesn't quite match the style definition. Let's go ahead and make it match by going to the little menu icon 
clicking on it there in the upper right corner of the panel and choosing this command right there, redefine style. That not only changes the lead paragraph style, it changes the body copy style, which is based on lead paragraph, and it changes all of the style text to match. It's just amazing how much time and effort you can save by creating and applying paragraph styles in InDesign.